Welcome back to TV 18. Big thanks to Grand Mountain Bank, your hometown bank. Four locations here in Grand County. Go check mm -hmm. them out if you need a new bank or want to explore your options. So Jane's here visiting with us, talking about the county and mm -hmm. what a commissioner means and does. And um, so we've kind of touched on a, a few things, but water's a big one here in, yes. in the county and for you personally as well. And mm -hmm. um, tell me where we are Um some big issues with water and kind of generalize so for people who don't know and then um, what the future looks like. Water is either quantity or quality. Okay. They say uh, the Mark Twain statement is in the West, whiskey's for drinking, water's for fighting. <laughs> and the water laws in the West are certainly different. Yeah. And Grand County's no different uh, okay. for that because okay. we provide water through the Moffat firming system, through the Moffat Tunnel. Right to uh, mid to south Denver and through the Colorado Big Thompson, which is at Grand Lake for north, okay. managed, by Den managed by Northern Water Conservancy District. Okay. Um, both are great, Denver Water and Northern. There have been a lot of controversies and a lot of bad mm -hmm. feelings in the mm -hmm. past. Mm -hmm. Working through the firming projects and the Colorado River Cooperative Agreement has brought both parties closer together. Good. I had at GC Wind both Denver Water and Northern yeah. on our board of directors. Okay. They were awesome folks to work with. They always were interested in water quality. It is uh, Good. always high in their interest yep. to do that. Yep. But with the firming project signed and the permits expected and the Cooperative River Agreement signed several years ago, uh, there's, been mo there's money, there's money committed, and there's groups working to make sure that the agreements and the money spent are to everybody's satisfaction okay. and what everybody okay. thought would happen for the future. And that's a lot of work still left to yeah. happen. Yeah. The learning by doing effort is going to be critical, as well as keeping the communication flow. Okay. The issues, though, in Greene County right now are just mainly the water quantity. Okay. How can we keep as much water in yeah. the river, yet still continue to use it? Okay. Uh, we use it for recreation. Ski Resort uses it for snowmaking. Right, right. We want to keep the water cold and fast for the cold water fisheries. Yeah. We don't want to lose those. Those gold medal fisheries are critical. Uh, you know, projects that are getting worked are the Windy Gap Bypass okay. funding, yeah. which is very important. But not only is the county working these issues in Northern and um, yeah. Denver Water, Trout Unlimited has been the best partner okay. imaginable. Okay. Thanks to Trout Unlimited, uh, we've made just a lot of good publicity because awesome. of understanding the issues better. Trout Unlimited has been a very important technical and vo vocal product, uh, okay. proponent of the okay. river. And then we've got groups like the uh, Irrigators Group on the uh, Colorado. It's doing some amazing things, led by Paul Boucher. Okay. Very creative things with not a huge amount of money right. to make sure that the irrigators can pull their money out, um, can pull their water out, and there's some neat efforts going on like that, and we want to continue to encourage them and look for right. more ways to work together on this. So a lot of pieces, a lot, a of, lot of different people touching it, mm -hmm. and a lot of different yes. things. Um, tell me how much water goes to the Front Range. Right now, the way the numbers work, about 60% of okay. the Fraser River. Uh, what will go largely in the future will be some of the spring flows, okay. a smaller percentage of the Colorado because it's bigger. Okay. But we're providing water for six to seven for over a million people okay. in the Denver area, okay. quite a bit more. Yeah. Sometimes I think, boy, that's tough. Do I really want a million and a half people up here? <laughs> right. And not only that, a lot of the water goes for agriculture. Okay. A lot of the food we eat here yep. comes from the front range. Yep. Yep. So it's, it's a give and a take. Yeah. And it's been this way for a while. It's not like it just recently happened or nothing changed. Like Farmers started to realize this in the late 1800s, okay. that there was a water imbalance. Okay. So this is not in the last few years. <laughs> right. People right. have been working on this for years, yeah. but I think the situation now is pretty positive. And again, Good. there's some great working relationships yeah. on yeah. both sides of yeah. the divide. So we need to just make sure the quantity of our water remains at a level that it can manage, we can manage. We'd love to do that. We'd love to keep it there. We may be, we are going to be doing some river restoration work okay. in the future. Right now, the river's a little big, a little smaller than its pants. Okay. Than, so to put it in layperson's <laughs> yeah, terms. Yeah. So some of those are going to be interesting projects. Maybe okay. we don't have to totally redo a river bank, maybe put in some structures okay. that cause some more aeration, some deeper pools. Some of the organizations around here are already starting to work on that. Okay. okay. 
Very cool. And mm -hmm. you are a part of that, not only as a commissioner, but also your personal... I've had a lot of personal interest yeah. in that, and I'm starting to go to a lot of the meetings and okay. maybe sit on some of the boards. Yeah. And I want to make sure that the work continues, that we keep a uh, basis of that knowledge, that that knowledge is embedded in Grand County government, right. Right. that we develop and keep the experts in-house. Yep. Yep. That we keep fighting for these rights and keep fighting for what we need for Grand County. Right, right, because that would be the worst if we lost what we have here, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> You've made a lot of gains, thanks yeah. to a lot of people. Good. Cool. So um, mm -hmm. you are you're you're temporarily kind of on as a commissioner, right? Yes, I got so, appointed. You got appointed. Mm -hmm. So big question: Are you going to run again? Or? Yes. I made, okay. I made okay. that commitment when I accepted the okay. appointment. Cool. And I've only been in this job less than four months. It's been a <laughs> well, steep Well, thanks for curve. coming here. Yeah. And <laughs> um, tell so me what I that looks like run. for a yeah political campaign. What does it look like for you? Right now, I'm going to have to uh, petition to get on the ballot. Okay. Due to a series of events, and I plan to do that. Good. I've got until. April 4th, okay. so it's going to be a busy next two weeks. Yes. And I'm running on a platform of a number of issues. Okay. okay. Uh, the first is having people feel good about Grand County government, okay. even better, you okay. know, through having a balanced budget yep. and continuing the transparency work, making okay. sure people see how we function. Uh, we've just started putting um, abbreviated notes from our Tuesday meetings on the commissioner's corner okay. on the website okay. uh, just for starters yeah. and to get more information out there sooner. Okay. And okay. I think that's important. Second thing is the water issues. Yeah. Let's continue them, make sure the information is in-house and we get what we want to get from these agreements. Right. Right. And the third is economic development. Okay. Critical. We've got to start making it happen and not hope it happens. <laughs> We've got some great businesses in Greene County yep. that have, you know, they're the basis, the foundation, not only for taxes, but making it a nice place. Right. We forget those businesses are what make it fun for tourists to come. Right, um, right. And some of us to live here. Yeah. That's yep. important. And the last is a positive viewpoint. You know, okay. you read the paper, yep. you talk to people, there's a lot of anger out there, yeah. a lot of negativity. Yep. And I've been very clear that I'm not going to be a hater. I'm not going to hate someone because you hate them. Right. I think that's wrong. It's not how I've wanted my kids to be raised and it isn't how mm -hmm. I think a lot of these people want their kids to right. be raised. Right. But at some point we've got to stop this cycle of hate yeah. and anger and look for ways to come together, find that middle point. And that means maybe I accept some of your viewpoints. Yep. It means maybe you will listen, hopefully, and accept some of mine. Yeah. Look for ways to agree and move forward. Because if all we ever do is hate and fight, not a lot of moving right. forward. Right. Great things do not come from hatred. Right. Do you feel like it's from because of the unknown, people are scared of where, what they don't know? I think it's some of that, and I think it's becoming popular and easy okay. to hate. Yep. Read it on the paper. Yep. I hate this person because right. you're this. Right. You have this viewpoint. You look like this. Yep. I hate this. More of a national level that's kind of trickling down. It's, it's happening everywhere. Yeah. And it scares me. Somebody yeah. gets mad and does a bad thing. Right. Um, it's it's scary sometimes. Yep. As a parent, um, you worry about it. Yeah. This is not the world I want to pass on to my kids. And that's why I took this job on. Yeah. I've got kids. I've got sons and future daughter-in-laws. Right. And I want to be a good example to them. Yep. I want them to see that life's more about working and retiring and yeah. giving back. Hmm. And this was my way taking on this political right. job. And right. I'm <laughs> of hoping to give back yeah. to Grand County. And That's a awesome. Viewpoint. Well, I think you certainly are doing that, a different viewpoint and standing up for what you believe in and what you want to spread out and not just hiding behind things. I think that that's really great. So um, thank you so much for being here and good luck in the next two weeks and um, when the election happens and all that. So um, Jane Dillett visiting us, District 1 County Commissioner. Can we learn more about you somehow? I don't have a website right okay. now. Okay, but if you do, yes, you will. <laughs> you can find out more information from her as she progresses. Um, maybe here on TV18, we'll check in with you in a couple months. You can Google my name. Okay, perfect. My name perfect. <laughs> um, again, thanks for hanging out here on TV18. Um, check out Sky High News for more information about the election and the county commissioner and race and what that looks like um, going forward. So, Jane Dillette, District 1 County Commissioner, we'll be back here on TV18.